Hi guys, it's Ben here from Second Dynasty for another weekly update. We continue to have issues with our internet here at the new offices, so we continue the tradition of a weekly video rather than a live stream for the time being, showing our progress on the Beowulf and the other items that we are delivering from our last Kickstarter. This week I have been working on uh, the med bay in particular of the Beowulf, which you can see here on the screen before you. Um, we have uh, made this fully printable. I did prototype it, um, but unfortunately uh, realized that there are a couple of issues that I needed to address. Uh, so the second print is on the printer now and we should have the results by the end of this video. The major differences that I've added is a little indentation under the stairs so that the uh, medical laboratory or, or lab station that we put in uh, actually uh, doesn't feel quite as cramped. And then we have our medical bed and scanner. We have our cold berths, sorry, low berths. And of course the fresher that's outside. Um, we also have this little nub here. The idea of that being that we have some sort of uh, support for the ramp uh, that will move up and down as we open or close the ramp. So something like this in concept we'll see what happens it's it's not going to be perfect mechanically but might look cooler than just uh, having an open ramp might also help to hold in the ramp um other areas that i've worked on this uh week uh what i'm currently working on here is the opposite side which is our foyer uh, where uh, passengers will enter through the airlock uh, it is slightly moved from the original t5 deck plans uh, so this is very much a work in progress we have the lift here um, and uh, yeah, that's more or less what I am working on. Alvin has successfully released the uh, Type L lab ship last week, and then uh, additionally, the armed packet is now complete and should be available shortly for release. He's currently working on the Type Y yacht, and uh, we also have the Hiver Explorer, which should be out this week as well. Peter will be working on the Donosev science vessel. We'll see how long it takes him to get it all together. We are also releasing additional ships for the Chimera series, although the complete uh, eight ship version is still a couple of weeks off. Have a great week everyone and we will see you next week for another update. Wait a minute, John? Is that you? What? You got something to say about deck designer? Deck designer? Two. Hey everybody, John with John Games here. I'm excited to talk to you today about Deck Designer, a 3D print planning tool. Deck Designer was released with a Kickstarter with the Slepnir. We have finished all the promised features as specified in the Kickstarter and even did a few extras. This version of Deck Designer will continue to get bug fix and performance issue updates. I am excited to announce that we are now starting on Deck Designer version 2. It will have planned features such as auto detection of snap points on imported parts. That way you don't have to figure out where the open lock clips are, it can figure out on its own. Second one will be tagging on groups. So you can say the top part of the ship, hide that, or select all the top parts of the ship. That will be handled for you a lot easier. And in addition to STL importing, Deck Designer 2 will support 3MF, a new standard that has gotten a great deal of support from the 3D printing community, and I am very excited to include it in Deck Designer. Deck Designer 2 will be a paid upgrade. More details will be announced soon, and it's not releasing anytime soon, but development has started on this update. We're looking forward to seeing what Deck Designer 2.0 can deliver. We love working with John, and John works with us on a daily basis. Anyway, that concludes today's episode. See you guys next week.
Cut this part out. Chimera series. Oh, f off Dropbox. Oh yeah, show me all the angles, baby. <laughs>